Everybody, what's up? This is Trey. I wanted to come in and make this video on this morning. I really do feel sorry for women who dedicate years of their life to a man that won't marry them. And the reason why he won't marry them is, is because he don't want them for a wife. He just wants the things that he's able to get from them, like companionship, free sex, have the woman play wifely duties to him, cook for him, he stay at her house, have a place to run away when he wants one, able to use her car, use her money as he see fit. And he knows this woman is in love with him. So she's going to do whatever this man says because he knows that she loves him. And he'll give her just enough to keep her there, dangling there all the time. But she's never ever going to get what she really wants from him. And that's to become his wife. And she may ask the question, when are we going to get married? And then he'll switch the conversation and say, make up an excuse like, you know, my dad didn't marry my mom. And I, and I, I see what marriages do to people. It just only further complicates things. Or the biggest excuse is marriage ain't nothing but a piece of paper because we're pretty much doing the same thing that we're doing right now. So what's the purpose for getting married? Or he'll say something like, don't worry, we're going to get married in due time. I'm just trying to make sure that money's right so that we can be able to be financially stable properly. And he just says little things like that just to keep her there while she's while she's dedicating her whole entire life to this man because most women be in relationships with men over 10 years this man ain't gonna marry you and that's the sad part about it even his family know that this man is going to never marry you he even tells his mom and sisters and grandma all the time and the family asks well why are you just hanging on to her and then the biggest excuse is because we friends and we just we just dating right now you understand what i'm saying i just really hate to see women in, in in situations like that because they be dedicating their whole entire life to this man's career anytime you invest time into something to walk away with nothing you are going to be scarred <clears throat> women do all this for, for, for a man to only watch him crown some other woman queen. You understand what I'm saying? Women, I really do hope that y'all do some self uh, uh, evaluating yourselves and make you and figure out why do you allow a man to keep doing you like this? You understand? It might be deeper than what you think. It might be because of the fact that your daddy walked out on your mama and you still dealing with them issues. <clears throat> but you need to find out why you keep allowing this type of behavior and foolishness to go on. This man got you running around doing everything for him. Taking his clothes to the cleaners, making appointments for you to get for for for, uh, for them. You making appointments for him to get his hair done, get his beard done. Just so you can walk around like, like, like you're a trophy. <clears throat> and you got other women looking at you. like, And you probably thinking to yourself, yeah, I, I'm the one on his arm. Yeah, I'm with him 24-7. Look, girls, I know he cute, y'all. Y'all all want him. And the women are looking, but they're not looking for the reason why you think they're looking. They're not jealous at all. They're looking because they're thinking to themselves, how stupid can this woman get? Like it's been bloody 10 years and this man ain't married you yet. They're looking like, dang, she's stupid. Like we all know this man don't want this woman. He's only using her because you see him up in everybody else's face at the club. You understand what I'm saying? My heart bleeds for you women because I feel so bad for you. Everybody know you ain't the one for him. He know, but the only person don't know is you. Matter of fact, you probably do know. 
you probably do know, but you just in denial. You just in denial with yourself, thinking that the more you sit here and do everything he say, that one day, just hopes one day, that he'll come to the conclusion and say, you know what? I think I'm going to marry Candy Apple because she been here with me through it all. I swear he's not going to say that. What he going to say is, all right, Candy Apple, I found somebody else. I think I'm going to go ahead and date Strawberry over here. But it's been real. It's been good knowing you, though. I don't get it. I don't get it, women. I think it's just, it's time for you to love yourself more. Love yourself more than what than, than what you love in this raggedy man. You feel me? He ain't worth it. Man, I sat 10 years from your life. Five years from your life. I don't know why I keep saying 10. I'm just so stuck on 10. Sat five years for your life. 15, 7. And you still just hanging on. That's endurance right there. I know it's easier said than done. But I just wanted to encourage you that one of these days you open up your eyes before it's too late. I'm Trey, and I'm out.